Just getting everything out after our night of racing at Southern Oregon Speedway. Track was pretty slick all night, so the car actually isn't uh, isn't too terribly dirty. Unfortunately, though, we did burn up a decent amount of rubber, as you can see by all of our uh, all of our wheels that don't have any tires on them. But welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you guys hanging out with us. It's warm. It's going to be a quick week. We have a busy stretch of races coming up here in just about 72-ish hours. Uh, the NARC 410s roll through the Pacific Northwest, eight races, 10 days, NARC Speed Week, and we're gonna be all ready to get after it. We got the 18T inside. Carly got the 22C inside and it is also clean. And now the next step on today's agenda is we gotta pull the 360 engine out of this car. And that's not because we're putting the 410 in and we're running this car for speed week. This is actually going upstairs in our trailer. So we basically gotta go through, make this thing race ready, you know, kind of turn it around if it were to hit the track, but then just put it upstairs. And it's one of those situations, you don't wanna ever have to use it, but you know, better to have it and be prepared and need it and use it than to not be prepared and you know, maybe have a situation where your week is cut short. So as you can see from the footage here, we are pulling the engine out of the car. Typically when we throw something upstairs for our team, it does not have an engine in it, but we are set up to where we could do so if we wanted. It's just a little bit more weight riding up there and when we hoist it up. After that, wanted to jump right into the maintenance, had to re-grease things, had to bolt check, and get this thing to basically where if it does come down, you put wheels and tires on it, you put a top wing and a front wing on it, you slap an engine in it, and you quickly re-block it and you roll out onto the track. So after a little bit of time, our spare car is all finished. We decided it's probably best to put this thing upstairs. This frame was brand new at the beginning of 2022. And just over time, you know, you, you run something so much, you do start to wear it out. And then it, it doesn't help that this was the car that was involved in a couple of crashes. We had to, at one point, this bar was replaced. After that, it got a new front clip. These rear bars down below replaced. This car was just in some bad spots last season. So anyway, it, it's ran well. It's still one shows. It's been good to us here to start 2023, but we figured that uh, here soon we're gonna try to update some of the components and then, you know, also, like I said, we're putting it upstairs, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of rest and we'll stay up there. So all this means I'm running a different car for all the shows I have coming up, so let me show you our progress on the newer 18T. Well, this thing's getting close. It's almost midnight. My dad's been working his tail off. We are, uh, we're like 85% of the way there. Engine's in. Cockpit area is done with the mag box and the fire extinguisher and the steering box. Shocks are on, cars blocked, we got the gear in, and everything's a little bit messy right now, but we have just been we've just been cruising along trying to piece this thing together like a puzzle. So it's almost 9 p.m. on the dot, and the 18T is finished. Wednesday afternoon after a short week. And this is our, our new hot rod that we have put together for the uh, the rest of the season. Dad, Carly, and I have busted our butts building this thing. It has and the same wing. If you need a new crew member, I'm available. <laughs> Only want to work eight hours a week though. Yeah, we had to work too hard. Had to work too hard to build this thing. Same wing we've been running, but brand new frame, never hit the track. Just has new updated components, which is exactly what our team needed. You know, 410 stuff, it's really, really difficult. You have to have the best equipment that you that you can possibly give yourself to have the opportunity to win um, the best hot rod that you can underneath the hood. It's all about combination. So we felt like for us going into this busy stretch of the season, we needed, we needed exactly this. So we worked hard in the shop. We had uh, a new frame from the off season and we just uh, finally, you know, got an opportunity to build it, put all the components together. Not everything is like 100% brand new, but definitely fresher than what I was running.
So sigh of relief that it's all done and we are now gonna go and load the trailer in the morning. Kind of unique racing this close to home that we get to load on race day. Don't usually tend to do that. But also wanted to share with you the firing process like we always do and we did that just about an hour ago. Pushing up the driveway, open this thing up, fires up first try, doesn't have any leaks, all checks out and then it will be uh, ready to go in the box for all the races we have coming up. We already scaled it, all our numbers look good, so this is kind of like the last thing that needs to check out, I guess also. When you're going down the driveway, you're always checking, make sure you got brakes. A couple times that's happened and uh, it goes to the floor and that's not great when you're going downhill, but this time it, it, uh, it all checks out. There you go. No, it's the one, huh? I think it's this oil one. Let's push him back down there so I can clean it up. Oh god, it's down everywhere. That way or that way? Back down the house. Go down to the house. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Try number one failed. Yeah, there's a lot of there's oil everywhere. It flooded over there and it flooded onto this backside. All right, rolling down for attempt number two. Hoping to get this thing going before it's dark. kind of weird when I first started up my dad told me the ignition switch the wrong way from how he mounted it so the, it's not it's not good for it but the ignition switch was already on so it fired up way quicker than I was expecting and then I was juggling to try to get it out of gear well getting everything prepared for eight nights of racing when you're gonna be gone you gotta have a full tire rack just kind of trying to organize everything here in the race trailer. Check out the upstairs. It is packed as well. Look at all these bags. These are fire suits. I got like four or five fire suits. More tires that are going to need to be mounted at some point. And then we got the spare car. Everything's actually pretty, pretty organized. Up in these shelves, we got more miscellaneous stuff that we're going to use. Got some wheels back there that we may need. Some front tires. Of course, the spare nose wings. Spare fuel cell. We are very, very blessed with the trailer that we have to be able to carry so much equipment. And it's not like we are a full-time team on the road all the time, you know, traveling across the country. But we do put some miles underneath our belt, so it's nice to have stuff to be prepared for just about any scenario that you can see. Okay, all loaded up. I was just telling uh, I was telling my dad, man, it's weird loading the day of, of racing. I know that's probably like so normal for all my viewers and stuff, but like for us, not normal at all. If we're not loaded 24 hours before we gotta hit the track, then uh, we're, we're behind. But we're kicking things off with the fastest four days in motorsports to start. At Southern Oregon Speedway tonight, uh, Douglas County Dirt Track tomorrow, Willamette on Saturday, and Grays Harbor Raceway on Sunday. And then next week we have Super Dirt Cup and then also the tune-up show before. So that uh, equals eight races. It's like four to $5,000 to win every night and then 62,000 to win the finale uh, once we get to Skagit. And this is known as NARC Speed Week, which is, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a marathon. That's where you, uh, you know, in a situation like this, as a racer, you almost want to pace yourselves. Like you just want to keep building momentum, putting yourselves in position to win races uh, and still go for it. Like not saying you don't, but at the same time, you have another night to run. So you got to, you know, like I said, you got you to gotta make it through the whole week and try to put yourselves in the right positions and just try to build the best finishes you can and lead that momentum into, you know, such a high paying show like Dirt Cup. Well, we're going to head to the track. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hoping our new car rips. I think it's going to. I got a good feeling about it. And we're just going to put our package together and get to race the 410 at some places close to home, which is so exciting in front of our fan, our local fans, friends, and family. So see you guys all at the track. Peace.